This is a palm-sized robot, the Minibot. I'm using the mini servos from SparkFun. They're in between a micro size and a standard servo size. And I'm just using the horns as wheels. There's a little clear rubber band, which you probably can't make out, on each of those horns to provide some traction. The parallax ping sensor right there is the sensor for distance to the objects or walls to give some intelligence for the autonomous roving. The back of the base has balsa wood skids for support of the circuit cards as well as the actual back of the robot. A caster wheel would have been a better choice. SparkFun tells a very nice tiny one. I didn't have one in stock so I just went with these skids. This means that it's pretty much a tabletop only robot. It won't do well on carpet at all because of the high resistance of those skids. But other than that, the brain is the Arduino Pro Mini. This is the 5 volt version. And I also run the whole thing off of an 850 milliamp hour uh, lithium ion polymer battery and the SparkFun power cell board, which charges the battery and also boosts it to 5 volts for operation for the servos and the ping and the Arduino. So it's a very, very basic setup and tiny little robot. He's a lot of fun. It basically just turns left whenever it detects an object um, a few inches away, I think the code was, three or four. Very simple setup. The servos are not calibrated because the calibration potentiometers are on the bottom of the servos, which as you can see is also the actual glued together part of the robot, so they're not really accessible. But other than that, it's a fun little robot to navigate around the desk or just to, in general, show off and have them hum around. The 850 milliamp hour battery does pretty well in terms of a runtime. I don't actually have a runtime documented with the ping sensor and the servos. When I was running it, just the servos alone, it was probably about four hours, if not a little bit more, of actual runtime. So it definitely does pretty well with that small, lightweight lithium ion polymer, which is pretty interesting. So it's a good, quick build. A lot of fun and a neat little guy to show off. So thanks for watching. If you have any more questions, go ahead and leave comments and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible.